Hey guys, so for part six, I'm gonna break down the project's wireframe. Let's look into the wireframe. You cannot plug the LED strip directly to the Intel Edison since the Edison wasn't made to supply enough power to the LED strip. The Edison gives 1.8 volts and 3 milliamps, which is not sufficient to power our LED strip. So we'll need a circuit that's capable of amplifying the power while maintaining a very low threshold voltage. So you might think of using a Darlington pair using two NPN transistors. This might help us give enough power to the LED strips but with a very high threshold voltage which is not going to work with the Edison. So instead we are using a C-clay pair with a NPN transistor and a PNP transistor. So this is the whole wireframe. The LED strip is represented by the common cathode, the RGB LED. We have a single power supply. So we have three circuits that will regulate the amount of power that will go into each color, red, green, and blue. Each one has a low transistor that we connect to the J14, J0, and J20 on the Intel Edison. Here's what it looks like on the breadboard. You can see our PNP and NPN transistors, our small resistance, the colors, and the power supply, which so we can regulate the power of the power rails. Congrats, you just finished part six of the tutorials. See you in part seven.